What's going on, everybody? I'm Sheikah Sweet. And I'm Jeremy Kraft, also known as Mr. Black Book Houston. And we are introducing to you Book, Book Black, Black TV. TV. Book Black TV is where we bring you the hottest entrepreneurs, greatest creatives, businesses, business owners, everything we do on Black Book Houston, just, just visual. visual. So you guys make sure y'all are locked in because we have some hot new stuff we'll be bringing to you and we want to keep you up to date with all the blackness that's going on in Houston. Make sure you're following us on Instagram as well at Black Book Houston. All right, guys. Tune in. What's going on, everybody? It's Sheikah Sweetie here with Book Black, and we have the lovely Shayla Ansa of Shayla Ansa Collections. And so we're going to get started with this interview. But first, you know, we got to make sure she got her black card because we want to make sure everybody here on Book Black got their black card before we get it popped. So let's Ooh. go. We gonna, it's good, girl. We're about to break the ice. We're right. ready. I'm ready. Yes, you know this. You're black. We, we do this. Yes, okay, we ain't yes. new to this. We true to this. You ready? Yes, ma'am. What's one word your cousins always mess up? Conversate, it's supposed to be converse. <laughs> ask, or you know, you're supposed to be ask. Um, pacific, you know, it's supposed to be specific. <laughs> Throw, or you know, it's supposed to be through. Um, I'm gonna say ask. I okay. always say ask. Look, are you going to ask me a question, or are you gonna ask me a question? Because one of them is murder, and that ain't right. Learn the difference, get it right. Thank you for your girl, time. Girl, my mama would be like, girl, be pacific. I'd be like, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. That conversate, though, that one, that one give me two. I'd that be is like, true. Converse. That is true. We have degrees. <laughs> let's, let's act educated. Yeah, just a little bit, you know, but yeah, that's true. Um, okay. They are homegirls living in a 90s kind of world. Is it, <laughs> is it Whitley, Jaleesa, Kim, and Freddie? Is it Charnay and Sydney? Is it Khadija Sinclair, Maxine, and Regine? Or is it T-Boss, Left Eye, and Chili? It's the C. There you go. I was about to say all the names, but I don't want to yes, up, but I know it's Yes, Sinclair, Maxine, and Ray Jean. There it is. <laughs> that's it, because you know, living single, that's that's our stuff right yes, there. Yes, yes. All okay. right, and the last one, it says, the recipe for a good turn up is Crown Royal, Ciroc, Henny, or Patron. I'm going to go with Crown Royal, because my husband likes to drink it a lot, so. So when he heard what he heard that night, he knew. <laughs> For every king an heir, for every king a crown. Crown Royal. Please drink responsibly. I'm a Crown Royal girl. Oh, okay. like, I, 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 can some, I can do some Crown, and I can actually take Crown straight, straight but that, oh. any of the other stuff? I'm no, sure. that's a right. Patron, yeah. I don't know how y'all drink Patron. Anybody out there drinking Patron? I'm done with Patron. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't know how y'all do it, but uh, that's Kudos what Kudos to you, yeah. Okay, so we know that she now has her black card. Oh Yes, she made it. She survived, y'all. I didn't give her a hard time. No, she didn't. She was Tell bad. us a little bit about yourself. Okay, well, my name is Shayla Ants. Like we said, I was born in Brenham. Moved here when I was like four. Um, so I was pretty much a Houstonian. Mm -hmm. um, I am married to my lovely husband of six years. Okay, coming up. Girl. Yeah, six years in April. Um, we have three children. Madison, who's 13, Mackenzie, who's nine, and Jackson, who just made four like two days ago. Aww. But it's a cute little story because I had the pleasure to do um, an interview recently mm -hmm. and I didn't mention my other two kids. Oh. But you, you understand why. Okay. But I didn't mention it and of course my husband recorded me. He said it to our kids with the two that has phones, the older two. And so Mackenzie, the middle one was like, uh... <laughs> You got two other kids, and I'm, I'm listening to her talking to our son Jackson, and he can barely speak English as it is. He's like, he just made four. Right. So he's like, yeah, uh, mom didn't mention us. And I was like, Mackenzie, I didn't mention y'all because it was specifically for Madison. Like, right. I, I had to, she's the reason why a lot of this has launched. And mm -hmm. I was like, Lord, next time I'm going to make sure you kids. mention all your kids. <laughs> she's going to have me. But yeah, so we have three kids, and I've been with the federal government for going on 14 years. And um, I'm the CEO of Shayla Answer Collection. How do you like working for the federal government? Okay. So, um, <laughs> anyway, how do you manage the two? Um, 
it's fairly easy. Like, I have an amazing husband. Like, that's one thing that if you have a partner that is helpful, that is um, there, present, mm -hmm. um, it makes things a lot easier. So, yeah, like, being a mother, being in the profession I am, starting a business, like, mm -hmm. you would think it's overwhelming. In a sense, I don't want to downgrade it because it is. It's a lot. But having someone support you like that and have a family base, that was, helps out a lot. So, that's how I manage it. So, what does your typical day-to-day -day look like? Oh Lord! So I get up with the kids. <laughs> he likes to sleep in, which I, I don't mind. I'll get up with the kids. Mm -hmm. I get him off to school. Jackson, you know, he doesn't go to school just yet. I go to work. Um, I come home, and we either he started on the business, like he's doing stuff. I'm like, thank you. He's like, yeah, I had it all set up, ready for you. So when mm -hmm. I get home from work, we'll um start going home on the business. So pretty much, I go to work in the daytime, and I come home. It's all business, all night up to like one, two in the morning. So what time, what time do you usually get off work? Are you a 9 uh, I'm a mid. I'm a mid. I went part-time about three years ago. Mm -hmm. right, or four years, right before I had our son. I went part-time. Um, so I get off around 7. Either he has the dinner ready or I'll be like, I'll, I'll make it ready. Go husband. Yes. Go like husband. That, it helps a lot. Okay? Yes, so okay. he can have it ready because he can cook, he can barbecue, he can do all. So yeah, he'll have it ready. <laughs> reduced to them gender norms with me. No, okay? yes, no. We, that's what's up. Absolutely. So it helps out a lot. So when I get home, whether he cooked or I have to, I make something real quick. And then, like I said, we go right into, into the business. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. Um, you know, I know a lot of people struggle with that. Uh, a lot of my personal friends struggle with oh, yeah. trying to balance the two. It's like, man, I worked at my job. I'm tired. I come home. It's like, now I got to work on that. But it's, again, yeah. you have a partner. Oh, that, absolutely. Like, me having a partner just takes this whole business to another level. Right. Because, you know, me trying to do it by myself. Yeah, you know? not like you can't. You can, you can but, but it's... But so much easier with that support Man, and two heads are better than one oh, you know because yeah. sometimes i'll be like so stuck in how i want to do things and then my husband will come and say no what if we try it that way i'll be like you know you never what? thought about it like, you know what i never yeah it takes me a lot to be like damn he's right but i'm like man he is right yeah. and I, <laughs> I'm, I'm a little open to you know people giving me i try to see everybody's view oh yeah but you know i know it's hard when it's like okay i got a vision and then they come in and it's like well, they can't really see what I'm trying to see, mm -hmm. but it does. It definitely helps. Mm -hmm. you have, absolutely, absolutely, you know. yeah. So, tell us more about your jewelry, like. Okay, so let me tell you. It's cute. Thank you. I am wearing. I'm wearing hella black and the Valerie today. Uh -huh. Um. So this is what happened. So I told you my daughter. She's 13. Mm -hmm. So I kind of wanted to prepare things. I was like, hey, I'm gonna start her collection. Mm -hmm. Um. A, charms though oh, and okay. just a side note like i wasn't raised in a family where we had heirlooms passed down and mm -hmm. i wanted that like i wanted to start that just when i want to start generational wealth to my children mm -hmm. so i was like man i could start this um charm bracelet and it could be something she can pass down on and on mm -hmm. so i'm not gonna mention his name but i'm pretty sure you know who has a charm bracelets on lock here in texas he don't need no more clout from me, so I'm going to mention his name. So I went on there, and I'm just sitting there just a strong line. Yeah, I'm going to put my baby collection up, and I'm like, I'm sitting there literally like scrolling. My husband's like, what's wrong? I'm like, I'm mad. He was like, what's wrong? I'm like, I cannot find anything that represents Madison, that looks like Madison, that empowered Madison. So I'm like legitimately mad because I, like I said, I grew up in Houston, so mm -hmm. I admired this charm bracelet guy and i wanted one for my daughter to start it so i'm like hey her birthday graduation give her a charm give her a charm collect mm -hmm. her her um charm bracelet so he he was sitting he was like you mad i'm like yeah i'm, I'm really kind of mad because there's nothing that looks like her and he was like well create it right exactly. so i'm like first i was mad i'm like create it what are you talking about just, they, just i'm like i just said stuff yeah i'm like create it okay whatever but it really set in my spirit like yeah. it really did like I sat there and I pondered on it like three, four days, like, mm -hmm. create it. Well, how would I do that? And it just came. The thing was, when I first went on this, I was looking for a silhouette. Now, like I said, there's nothing that looked like her. So what I did was, I kind of looked around and all it really was that really represented us with quality jewelry, because I, um, I love gold on black people. I just love it. We just look really good. At but all they really had was Nefertiti. Mm -hmm. And nothing against Nefertiti. I love her. You know, I love what she represents. But mm -hmm. my daughter can't relate to Nefertiti. Mm -hmm. Like, she just cannot. And there was no silhouettes that looked like current us with our natural mm -hmm. hair. Mm -hmm. You know, nothing that really represented us. So, what I did, I got Madison's um, silhouette lasered mm -hmm. with a little tweaks. And I sent it off. Mm -hmm. to a vendor to like four or five vendors mm -hmm. and I got it back and she, the first vendor that I really liked she put it on a necklace mm -hmm. and I was like hmm 
that looks really good on the necklace because like, I was doing it for a charm. Right. Yeah. And I was like, nah, that looks really good on the necklace. So I put it on my daughter Madison. I was like, man, I like that. And I did have a little issue with trying to get charms connected without getting started. So that was like on the back burner, but I still want to do it. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I can definitely run with this necklace, with necklace thing. Yeah. Absolutely. Because like I said, we layer the necklaces. So that's that's my little protege, the Maddie. That's, mm -hmm. that's my first... Um, uh, I guess sample that I got that I really really love and so that's how it was created so do uh, with your business do you allow people to send in custom like design things oh I mean or how as of work? now I'm mm -hmm. so new I wouldn't even know what to do with all that I'll be like look well, I'm just asking I don't know, you know oh, I, see, no. I see that you have like what does it say this is hella, hella black. black hella yeah oh hella hella black oh yeah that's oh, cute to the utmost yes okay <laughs> okay girl that you yeah. love a shirt I okay like look it, it, it's the collection, baby. It, it, it got levels to it, but no, yeah, yeah I'm just not stopping here yet. This is Hella Black, and this is Valerie. It's actually my mom's name. Oh, okay. And it's funny because I she had an old 70s picture, her in the fro, mm -hmm. and I really wasn't going to put personal names on it, but I was like, why not? Like, right, right. why not use that, like, a reference that really, mm -hmm. and I have a picture on my Instagram that has my mom and my dad in they 70s fro, yeah. and that's what was my sister-in-law idea. She was like, what well, name her Valerie? I was like, I could name her Valerie. Like, why not? So, yeah. I have on the Valerie and the um, Hella Black, which I, which I always like to wear. Mm -hmm. So, how long have you been in business? <sighs> Girl. I started this almost a year as far as, like, looking for vendors, mm -hmm. sending things back, make sure this 18 karat gold plated. Mm -hmm. So, uh, May makes a year. But literally launching it, I only launched it, what, like... A few weeks ago. Okay, girl. Yeah, I did. Yes. I did stalk your Instagram. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, so it's fairly new. It's um, very, very, no, very I, new. But no, I, I like your work. I checked out your website. Thank you. I was wondering, which you pretty much answered. You know, if you had any silver. Sometimes I be a little nervous about wearing gold. Really? I used to think I was too dark to wear gold. You got the prettiest <laughs> girl don't you ever say that? No, no, I don't no, know why. No. I just had that. No, I'm the, too to dark me, to wear gold. the darker, the better. Like, I, I love to get my I, light skin because look, my middle one, Mackenzie, is hella light, okay? <laughs> but something about dark skin, mm -hmm. black skin on gold, mm -hmm. I love it. No, I now, will. I've come around to it oh, okay, as, okay, as good. an adult, but I just, that yeah, silver but has I was always like just too. been my. Like my, I don't buy like like when I buy like my mom bought me a necklace. She uh, we always go silver because I just no gold. I, I do gold earrings, but as far I don't have any gold really necklaces. Well, or anything. That's why you gotta say like <laughs> answer collection. I got you, girl. I got but, you. No, silver is something that I definitely want to expand on. Mm -hmm. uh, nine to nine two five silver sterling silver. Mm -hmm. I want to do that, but um, I couldn't find a vendor just yet. So okay. it's a collection, like I said. So it's that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> It's if no, definitely going to If work. nobody understands, I, I understand. Oh, we yeah. We're and growing, but that's what this platform is for, to, you know, introduce, you know, yourself to our platform and yeah. people so that they know more about you and they can help you grow. Yes. So, and I definitely, I know, I definitely appreciate y'all. Oh, so, yeah. I mean, I'm telling you, I haven't seen anything like this. And I'm not saying it's not out there, but I haven't seen it. And right. I'm like, I told my husband, he was like, what? I was like, man, these couples is really doing it. Like, I really could say your name. Thank I was like, you. I think it's Swat Lee or Swat Lee. No, <laughs> Yeah, and I was like, hold on. I was like, it don't matter. I see him a couple of videos. I'm like, I really want to get mm -hmm. on that platform because that is amazing to give us that, right. to be more personal. Because people will be like, oh, she's selling jewelry. No, I'm not. I, I'm selling right. and representation. I'm selling something that looks like us that I have yet to see. Right. I'm not saying it's not out there. I haven't seen it. Right. So I found, I seen a wide hole in something mm -hmm. and I filled it. Right. Like that's basically what I was doing. And most people typically, um, like what I've seen, um, you know, I've gone to a bunch of different vendor markets. A lot of people just kind of order stuff from like AliExpress. And I don't know where you order your stuff from. No. But it's not, it's just kind of It's not generic. AliExpress. Yeah, it yeah, is. And you go on AliExpress, like, you're going to see the content yeah, of Africa. You're like going to see Nefertiti. Melanin. Yeah, you're yeah. going to, and I've seen so it. So hella black though. That's what I'm saying. I feel like I want it. You know what I'm saying? Like, Do you now? Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I rock with it. Yes, yeah, well yes, thank you. Yes. No, and you're, you're absolutely right. And nothing to knock off like costume jewelry or whatever right. not to knock off your game but this is not this is quality right. jewelry i made sure that the vendor i spoke to it has to be 18 karat gold plated i right. made sure it's pvd plated which means it's another coating over the gold mm -hmm. so that it has longevity and like i told my husband and he was like when you grow shayla 
is going to expand to like, you know, 14 carat, mm -hmm. 22 carat, sterling silver. And that's the goal. Like my goal is to try to reach people who don't necessarily like gold, who want to, who wants my product, who want this. And like I said, the representation that I'm trying to put out there is mm -hmm. just the beginning. Like I have so many more. I have a book of ideas that yeah. we can wear that represents us. That's what's up. That's yeah. what's up. I'm sorry. Uh, I get so passionate. No, about, that's how you're supposed man, to be. Man, I know. I'm Listen, like, this, this is about you and your business. So yeah. you could go on and to <laughs> the next like interview if you want to. I, like, this is about no, you. Man, so. I appreciate that. No. I really do. Um, How do you actually market your business? Like, outside of just, like, social media, like, what it, what all you do it takes, you know, for you to sell your product? Well, like I said, we're really new. Mm -hmm. So, I did my very first vendor pop-up at um, Indie Friendly, which is, like, which was a, night, a very lovely pop-up platform and basically I set my table up and I was so nervous and I was like man I'm not gonna get the response that I want mm -hmm. because the price I'm thinking is not gonna be appealing to certain people but girl let me tell you like people show up for me like I it's one thing for your family your close friends be like yeah that's good we haven't mm -hmm. seen that but for a stranger to be like thank you and I was like Thank you. Like I haven't seen nothing right. like this. Like you'll see the earrings with the fro. You know, right, right, nobody right. gets yeah. that. No, right. But something that quality that can be around your neck. That's 18 karat gold. She was like, I haven't seen it. She in the bottom like three, four pieces. I was like, Yeah, thank you. Wow. Too. Yeah, I was like, so <laughs> that, you, like marketing. I don't. I don't. Me and her husband agreed to like until we have enough product mm -hmm. to where we push this marketing that we we're not like damn we can't oh I'm sorry you got it no we sorry. black so uh, okay no you don't right. have code switch okay you just, <laughs> be yeah. your natural self okay yeah so we uh, <laughs> marketing we're kind of not doing too much of it just we don't want to be um. We don't want to not have the product ready if, if it goes out if it yeah, if it, it blows yeah. up which I wanted to blow up but we're trying to be strategic. Strategic. There it is. I got you, girl. That should have been on that car. Whoever said <laughs> I jacked that it to word, yeah. I jacked that up. Okay, it's not, but yeah, we trying to be Church like that because he's a, he has a business degree, so he's really okay. just he he really tells me a lot of things I need to do, and I'm like, oh, I hate that he right, but he be right, and I have to take that because a lot of things is playing the game and playing chess and make sure you do the right move. So I got you, yeah. right? <laughs> I'm happy for you. A lot of people um, also when you're marketing to them, and I'm not speaking on just like posting stuff, but mm -hmm. when you're out at these vendors, uh, festivals and stuff like that, they connect to your story. You know what I'm saying? And that's why at Black Book Houston, we try to make it our business to make sure we not just throwing a list out there. It's not yes. just a list. It's like, no, this is detail. Yeah. Like, you know, and I have to stay on people like, hey, send us a description or, you know, make sure you have a Yeah, I seen bio. that. I was like, right. I gotta write I mean, a whole description. Yeah, no, but <laughs> yeah, it's, no, but it's, yeah. people connect to Absolutely. your story and what you're doing. People want to, they don't just want to, some, sometimes people don't just want to throw their money at you. So it's very important that we host these different um, interviews and different mm -hmm. platforms so that people could actually speak about their products because I've met so many people and what I initially thought was, Oh, okay, like a girl, for instance, she had a waist trainer. And mm -hmm. I was just like, oh, I, it was just a waist trainer. But mm -hmm. after she spoke about the waist trainer and told me she designed it herself and how she designed right. it, I was more inclined to buy it. Right, right. Because just looking at it, I'm just like, okay, it's just a waist trainer. Everybody's yeah. a waist trainer. And that's true because you can see a, a vendor or whatever and be like, well, I don't even know their story. And you, like you said, this platform and that first platform that gave me, like, I was able to tell people, like, Hey, this is why I did this. My daughter didn't have anything that represented her that was mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. And like the girl, one of the ladies that came up, she was like, I, um, she was like, I resonate with you. So I was like, did you hear my story? Cause I was so nervous. I was shaking. I was like, did you even hear? She was like, girl, yes, I heard. I'm like, oh, okay. She was like, yeah, I resonated with that very much. Cause there isn't anything that's out there that you're pushing right now. I was like, yeah, so you're absolutely right. Like to have that personal, personalized thing attached to it makes right. it so much better right and so people just connect with other people and versus you just giving them a product and they're like well i've seen that before mm -hmm, or, mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying even though it might not even be the same they just in their mind oh well everybody's selling jewelry and that's just kind of where they might yes, categorize, categorize yes, you at. yes so, and i have to try to i have to find something that makes me stand out above the rest like all that noise i have to kind of be above it and that is that is something where we like to do things like this absolutely where you can see shayla answer and like mm -hmm. why i named it my me. It's not an alias. I named right, it after right, myself. Right. So it's not like, does she own it? No, that is Shayla Answer. She owns it. That's her. And even like the logo. Like mm -hmm. our logo is called Bese Saka. And I have to do it right because it's a Ghanaian um, logo that means unity, abundance, wealth. And everything is, I, and I brought it so you can see it, but I handpicked out everything so you can see that it's so much more than just jewelry. 
So that's the um. Oh, it's cute. Yeah, and this is how I package it. Um, so it's not a game. I'm, oh. Show the camera. <laughs> so yeah, uh, B B C soccer, and um, like I said, it's a Ghanaian. Um, and my husband, he's Ghanaian, so this okay. that answer is a Ghanaian last name. And um, I brought this. So you can see my Maddie. Girl, look, I'm shaking child. It's okay. <laughs> it's just me. I'm just long. I don't know that I don't cry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so I like your package. Yeah, and everything go. Yes, oh, and that's her. she got a bow in her hair. Yes. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, like everything I really just said and that's thought really about. Cute. Thank you. I I I I thought about as much as I could as a new business owner. Mm -hmm. Cuz obviously the, I'm very new to this, so I'm going to have hiccups. I'm embracing my hiccups. I'm embracing like, oh, shouldn't have did that. Might should have did that, but at least I'm out there doing it. So the cute little boy on page, is that your son? That is my son. Oh, that's Jackson. Okay. I saw <laughs> yeah. Girl, that, that thing. Now that's purely from his father. Like he in bot, and I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it to watch them interact and watch how he, you know, want to mimic his father and everything. Mm -hmm. I love it. So yeah, that's him. And we have a chain for we have a chain for all of my children because even that's my middle funny. child, she had dreadlocks. And oh, of course, okay. Mackenzie was like, "Where's my silhouette?" I'm like, "Oh Lord, she's gonna get me." I said, "Mackenzie, I sent your silhouette off mm -hmm. to the vendor. I'm gonna get the silhouette because you have dreadlocks." So. It's tricky yeah. of how the silhouette is going to be without it looking like braids or whatever. So her her sample should come back probably like end of March. Okay. Well, so, I yeah. think you're doing some amazing stuff. Thank Where do you, you actually see your business going in the next three years? Man. Like, what, what's your vision for it? Whew. Man, I envision, I envision like the collection to have a hundred pieces. Like at the very least. Because mm -hmm. I, I have a book full of ideas that mm -hmm. I can put and I envision like even the machine that I really want to mm -hmm. build it myself, but I want to put it in Ghana. Like mm -hmm. to be honest, I want to circulate that black dollar a hundred percent. And if I can get that expensive machine and put it in Ghana and run it through Ghana, like mm -hmm. that'll be amazing for me. So that's one of like my huge goal is to buy that machine, put it there and produce all my things there. That's so dope. <laughs> Y'all, she's doing some amazing stuff. Y'all make sure y'all support. Yeah. Um, so we're getting ready to wrap up this interview, but before we go, you know we gotta play another game. Oh, oh do we? It's not hard. Uh oh, okay. <laughs> you got it. All, All right. right. All right. So I'm gonna give you ten seconds. And you gotta name. Yeah. Don't worry. You got this. Okay. You got okay. this. Name three black artists that you that are your favorite artists, or that you would like to see in your product. Oh, the first one I like for sure is Toby. Don't ask me how to say his last okay. name. I, I think know. it's Nguyenge, but yes. I ain't sure. Cause I, <laughs> Toby, I, if you see this interview, bro, don't judge us. we just call you Toby from yes. from uh, the SWAT. That's that's your name. Toby from the SWAT. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. So um, Toby, um, I was a huge, huge, not was, I am still a huge fan of Slim Thug. Okay. Um, I had a little crush on child. <laughs> but um, don't be talking about sugar daddy Slim. <laughs> No. And, he don't um, need no more on his team. Oh, right. Crushing on him. I know. Let me take it back. No, I'm kidding. Um, and why would I cannot not say Beyonce? I okay. mean, yes. she is yes. I, I pivotal, really but yeah. Good. Okay. So now I need you to name three black-owned brands that you would like to work with. Any any brand? Any, any brand, brand you can think of that um, you want your product to be seen with. I do like Tally and Twine, that's a black owned um, watch company. I bought one for my husband. Um, Melanoid Exchange, I just fo followed them. Okay, seems Melanoid. Really, yeah, I followed them through y'all, so it seems really like legit. Like, I really like that. And, um, Ivory Park. Okay. Yes, <laughs> Look, me. I, I know. Yes, hey, me. Let me. Represent for you. Get, get, get you uh, with no Maddie's for uh, Blue Ivy. Okay. <laughs> and, and um, Remy. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah the she just released those pictures. I got a, a J too. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. She just released the pictures of them cute little things. Oh, did she? Yes. Oh. Finally. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. So, the third question. Um, Name three of your favorite black owned spots you like to visit in Houston. Oh, okay. So we are foodies. Okay, as you can tell, like we like to eat. So, um, I really like Cool Runnings. Okay. Uh huh. I Come love through. that a lot. Yes. Yes. Um, he doesn't have a spot. But he has a, a a smoker called Slow Smokes. Oh, slow. You talking slow, slow smoke meat? Yes. Slow yes. Smoke, uh, we slow check. smoke meat. There it is. That dude shirts be funny. Yes. Yes. It was yes. like once you taste my meat, meat you gonna want to swallow. Yes, I'm like. 
I'm like, oh yeah, I hope my daughter read that right. Just yeah, yeah, his shirts are funny. So, yeah, yeah. He's, he's hilarious. We did a yeah. um, we did a feature video on him. Too. Oh really? Uh -huh. I must not go check that. Out. I must have missed that. But yeah, he's good. And um, I haven't been yet, but I know I heard of Phil and Derek's. Okay, he's good. Yeah, right. I think my husband went because he be in the streets. But I'm more, <laughs> I'm more in the house, and I'm fine with that. Look, I ain't got no problem with that. But uh, Phil and Derek's. Okay, mm -hmm. y'all. So we've had a lovely interview here with Miss Shayla, and we're gonna let her plug herself and tell her how, uh, tell y'all how she can um, be found. I am on all social media platforms. Okay, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, um, Twitter. Even though I don't follow us, that's all right though. And Pinterest. Um, and I plan on being on YouTube. I'm gonna try to tap into all of them just in case one gets shut down. Y'all can go to another one. So I'm gonna be found Shayla Answer Collection. It's Ansa, A N S A H. I know people uh, know how to spell it right, but yeah, I'm on all platforms. Okay, well, thank y'all so much for tuning in to Book Black. We appreciate appreciate y'all, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>